Hard Rock Hotel and Casino for the fifth annual 2 on 1 Academy Awards. We're honoring all of Broward's nonprofit organizations and leaders, and we've got our eye on it. is it to reward these organizations that work so hard all year? Well, you know, they're kind of our unsung heroes, and they don't really get a lot of attention or recognition for what they do, and what they do is so important to a healthy community and a wonderful place to live. So um, they're key to our, our community, and we're happy to celebrate them. Finalists, are you excited? All right, all right. On behalf of the Wasi Foundation, we are honored and thrilled to be a part, a partner of 211 Broward and to represent the award of Nonprofit Academy for Collaboration. Listen, folks, in this day and age, funds are limited. Resources are limited, but the needs, as you know, are ever so great. So collaboration is the key to success. I have to say, I have deep respect. Thank you so much. I have deep respect for the three finalists for their leadership, they have stepped up to the plate to kind of put their organization out there on the skinny branch, if you will, and to collaborate with others and create the culture of collaboration within their own organization. If Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga can co-labor, there's no reason why any of us in this room, nonprofit-wise. So it is with my great pleasure to introduce the finalists and then the winner. As you know, the finalists, nonprofit, of the year for collaboration are for kids of South Florida. Child Rescue Coalition and Memorial Healthcare System. And I gotta tell you, as you know, we don't know as a sponsor up here who the winner is. So can I get everybody get the clappers out because the winner is very excited. Oh, for kids of South Florida! Thank you so very much. Um, congratulations to the finalists. You are amazing. On behalf of the Academy judges and the Wasi Foundation, thank you so much for this award. We have been very blessed for 12 years to have an amazing partnership with ChildNet and are so privileged to serve the children of Broward County. Thank you. I just wanted to thank you. We couldn't have a better partner in four kids and childhood is so grateful and the kids of this county are so grateful for this collaboration. Thank you. Well, because 211 is actually a hub for all these organizations, you pick up the file, uh, phone, you dial 211, we direct you to over 4,000 social service programs in Broward County. So they are natural partners and they come here and we celebrate them. Being part of the community for so many years, we've seen the changes in the county and recognize the need for the services that the nonprofits offer to all of our residents here. Calvin Giordano and Associates is proud to sponsor the Rising Star Award. This award is given to an organization that is young and small, but their potential for growth and impact is high. The potential for growth and success is something that as a company we value tremendously and encourage amongst our younger employees. And I'd like to just do a shout out to Table 17 and the young folks of my company who are here with me today, who are our rising stars. The nominees in this category are Debbie's Dream, Curing Stomach Cancer. The Girl Choir of South Florida. and Taylor's Closet Foundation. And the winner is... Oh, I love it. Keep going. The Girl Choir of South Florida. Uh, 
I'm a, I'm a little speechless. I thought I had a speech, but now I, I'm not sure I do. Um, congratulations to everybody in this room, everybody nominated, um, even you know the, the community choice folks. That's how we got started with 211 Broward, and uh, I'm awed by all of the great work that goes on in this community, and I know that the great work we do, transforming girls' lives through music, um, only happens when we're in a community that supports reaching out and helping others in so many different ways. Uh, 10, almost, not quite 10 years ago, when we got started, uh, I had no idea we would get to this point, but what I did know is that I knew that learning to make music together isn't just something that's nice to do, but is essential to do. When I was watching those guys play in the cellos earlier, um, I'm sure you felt that confirmation of that. And so to our board and staff that's here today and everyone here at 211 Broward and all the sponsors um, and families and community members that have supported us all these years, uh, thank you so much. We're really, truly honored. Thank you. You know, they're the most unrecognized and and unrewarded organizations throughout the county here. And what we have is two on one, just is in a position to facilitate their being recognized here for what they do. And it's a shame that we really do not um, have 1,200 seats here tonight versus 800, because we would have filled the house in recognizing all these individuals who have been servant leaders leading the, serving this community. Thank you. It is such a pleasure for us at SunTrust to be part of this amazing event. We are honored that our own Dave Ross is on the board of 211. Dave, wave to the crowd. Yes, and Phil Verdi also serves on the Plan Giving Council. So, Phil, you wave to the crowd. And we've always believed at SunTrust with our over 1,000 employees in South Florida that each one of us can make a difference and we try to give back across the whole spectrum of organizations that are honored here today. And it is truly my pleasure to present the SunTrust Bank Nonprofit Academy Award Organization of the Year in the arts category. And I think as our young cellist showed us, arts are a very key part of a happy, thriving, healthy community. So, are you interested in the finalists for the Nonprofit of the Year in the Arts category? Yeah. Okay then. We have the Art and Culture Center of Hollywood. The Business for the Arts of Broward. And the Fort Lauderdale Children's Theater. And the winner is Art and Culture Center of Hollywood. This is so exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am so excited. Here I did too have a little bit of a speech and it's like right out the window. But there should be a team of people up here accepting this award because it truly takes a whole group to actually do all what we do and what we offer the community. So I'd like to give a shout out to my assistant director, Susan Rakes, who's with us today, Jeff Resnick, our director of development. I think I have like 15 board members who are here in this audience. So thank you so much for your support too. I'd also like to give a shout out to two excellent organizations and I'm proud to be considered one of the finalists with them and that's Business for the Arts and that's Fort Lauderdale Children's Theater. It's a pleasure to work with you throughout the year. And my last is, on behalf of the 823 nonprofit cultural arts organizations, thank you so much for recognizing that we have an impact in our community. Thank you. Uh, the Seminole Hard Rock is a very proud host of the 2 on 1 Academy Awards and we have been since its very inception. Uh, we're so delighted to bring together the community to honor and pay homage to the people that really make it happen for us here. And how important would you say 2 on 1 really is for our community? The uh, services that 2 on 1 Broward provides are so widespread and help such a variety of people that I'm not sure what this community would do without them. It's with great pleasure that I'm able to present the Brown and Brown Insurance Nonprofit Academy Award Organization of the Year in Innovation.
Brown & Brown is the largest insurance intermediary in the state of Florida, and we're among the 10th largest worldwide. And we offer a variety of uh, solutions in the insurance area for uh, businesses' uh, commercial needs, as well as their employee benefits, as well as their personal insurance needs. Uh, one of the things that I think differentiates us is the fact that we're very innovative with our solutions for, uh, for our clients. And that's what really, uh, really the synergy is with the award that we're able to uh, present to you all today for the Innovation Award. Uh, we're very proud to be a member of, uh, of 211 Broward, and we're very proud to be sponsors of this event. We look forward to continuing this event into the future. And the finalists for the Nonprofit of the Year Innovation Award are Salvation Army, South Florida Community Land Trust, and Take Stock in Children of Broward County. And the winner is Take Stock in Children of Broward County. Woo! What an honor. Um, thank you to 211 Broward and Brown and Brown for this recognition. Congratulations to the finalists in this category with us. Um, you know, all of our accomplishments that we've been able to do with this innovative program that we started four years ago is really a direct result of the 300 mentors and my outstanding staff helping us to break the cycle of poverty through education. So thank you so much for the support. It's a huge honor to be recognized among some of the leading nonprofits in Broward County. Our, our category in innovation it means a lot to us because we were able, through a grant from the U.S. Department of Education, to really change the lives of 1,200 students over the course of 20 years. So we're really excited about being nominated and being selected as a finalist. And to present the Children's Services Council Nonprofit Academy Award for Organization of the year for collective impact. Anybody who knows the Children's Services Council knows we're all about collective impact on behalf of youth. Emilio? And the finalists for the Nonprofit of the Year Collective Impact for Youth are Firewall Centers, Hands on Broward, and the Children's Home Society. And the winner is... If I can get this open. Rip it. Firewall Centers. Woo! I say you lay oh. Gotta let go. I want to celebrate and live my life. Say you I really don't know what to say. I am just humbled by this. This is amazing. Last year, we were rising star, and this year, I mean, last year, about organization. This is about collective impact. And that's what this, what we do, why we do what we do. Um, a lot of what we wrote about in the collective impact is uh, because of the community foundation. I don't know if you're out there, but their school is cool initiative. It really got us on the map and together with CSC who helped fund us when really no one knew who we were over the last few years. So I am just blessed and honored to, to receive this as we tutor and mentor kids after school to make a difference in some of our most needy communities. I mean, whether it's, I want to thank United Way and PNC and AT&T and so many other funders that are making this possible. We are just blessed and honored and, and we are growing and our goal is to set up firewalls in the lives of all the at-risk kids here in Broward County. So we are just getting started. Thank you very much. Uh, this event is truly amazing. This 211 is an amazing, an amazing organization. For, to have the ability to bring together all these nonprofits in one venue, um, just the service they provide is just so visionary and so amazing to do. This award is an homage to the very few organizations that deal with the tough subject of child abuse. There are too many kids suffering in silence, and today I'm honored to introduce La Teresa Jones, a victim of child sexual abuse, but is a hero to so many. Greetings. My name is Latresa Jones. I was five years old when my stepfather told me to take his penis and put it in my mouth and suck on it like a lollipop. By the time I was 10 years old, he ainly raped me. And by the time I was 10 and a half years old, I tried to commit suicide. 
By the time I was 14 years old, I was impregnated, went into a hospital and birthed a child, and no one ever asked me who the father of this child was. Mind you, my family was very well to do, so I was a victim. By that time, I probably had seven to eight abortions because my family could afford to pay for that. So you all can make a difference. It starts right here, right now, with organizations in our communities, because I am a thriver, and we have to change laws in the United States of America if we're going to make a difference in this country. And the winner of this awesome, awesome event, the Heidi, this is my sister, and the winner is... This is just so exciting. We thank you guys so much. And this is what the Child Rescue Coalition is all about, is abuse prevention. And just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Carly Yost. I'm the president of the Child Rescue Coalition. And on behalf of the Child Rescue Coalition, along with the South Florida ICAC, we've got um, Assistant Chief Diaz here and our whole Child Rescue team. We also have Assistant State Attorney Dennis Nicewander. We all work together as a true coalition to prevent this abuse. And over 300,000 children are abused every year in the United States. Half of those children are under 12 years old. And this needs to stop. We have to put an end to it. And together at the Child Rescue Coalition, through the use of our technology and our law enforcement partnerships, we are putting an end to it by proactively identifying these offenders, arresting them, and putting a stop before the abuse continues. We just can't thank you enough. We're, we've been at this for 10 years, but we're a new charity organization, and we really appreciate the, the honor and the award. Thank you. We're here with Victoria, the gold model. Tell us how it feels to be here today for the 211 Award. It feels amazing to give back in any way that I can. And our firm was uh, offered the opportunity to partner up with um, 211, we were so honored to have this, uh, this chance. Uh, 211 is such an incredible organization with so many charities out there um, available for everybody. 211 does an amazing job of bringing them all together, and to us, there's, there's no better organization and no better service out there than 211. Um, board members are the lifeblood of any organization. Besides giving their time, their money, their efforts, um, they go wholly unrecognized for all the, the things they do. They don't ask for any recognition. They don't want any recognition. They only do it because of their love and passion for um, the organizations they represent. Um, we embrace this opportunity to be available to give the award for this year's nonprofit organization board leader of the year. Um, do you guys? Did you guys give me the envelope? Oh, no. OK. This is really embarrassing. Is there um, an envelope in the building? Um, is, this, is, this is a crisis. This is a major crisis. It's Captain 211. Did someone say crisis? Captain 211, I can't seem to find my, my envelope anywhere. Well, I would have been here sooner, except it's getting harder and harder to find phone booths to change in. So, I brought the envelope. Here you are. Thank you, Captain 211. I'm proud to, to present the Russo Batista Law Group Nonprofit Academy Award Board Leader of the Year. And the finalists for the Nonprofit Board Leader are. Beth Ann Krimsky, I Care, I Cure, Child of Cancer Foundation.
Stephen Moss, United Way of Broward County. Myra Ezradi, Young at Art Museum. And the winner is... Myra Ezradi with the Young at Art Museum. Hi. My heart is shaking. Thank you so much, Riso and Batista, for sponsoring us. Thank you to all of you. Every single person here does amazing work. Every single person here is committed to their organization, to the people that we help, and to our community. I just want to thank my board at Young at Art, and I'm so nervous for nominating me, and thank you for believing in me, and I love being part of the community, and I'm just grateful to be in such wonderful company. Thank you, have a wonderful day. I'm beyond humbled. Um, I am so grateful, and it feels wonderful to be recognized for doing good things, and I wish everybody would get involved, and 211 is so incredible. This is a phenomenal organization, and I'm honestly, truly so humbled to be part of this group. I, it, it feels great, it feels great, and thank you. And PNC is an organization that provides diverse financial services, and we have a long history of supporting the communities that we serve. First of all, on behalf of the PNC family, thank you to all of you who put a lot of work into improving the lives of those who need the most in our community. At PNC, we understand the need for organizations to support your efforts and are committed to doing so. For today's nominees and award winners, I want to say thank you. Your hard effort is priceless. So, for this award, we all know that the quality of an organization really depends on the people that work for it, or volunteer in many of your cases. So I'm proud to present the PNC Bank Nonprofit Academy Award Staff Leader of the Year. So the finalists for the Staff Leader Award are Evan Goldman from Handy, <laughs> Sally Berenswig and Sharib and Joseph from Kids Safe Foundation, and April Kirk from Historic Strahan, Strahan House Museum. So again, congratulations to all of you. And the winner is Evan Goldman at Handy. Thank you. This, this is my wingman, Tyvon Scott. And uh, I, will, I first want to salute uh, April and my friends at Kids Day if they are unbelievable. Those of you who know Handy, know that we are a family. So I want to thank three very important families in my life. The first, the one I go home to, my wife Sandra, and my 18-month son, Max. He, 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 I think he's going to break this. Uh, the second is my CSC family, um, 11 years, and those ties run really, really, really deep. I salute you. I thank you. And uh, finally, and most importantly, for the purposes of this award, my Handy family. The board, the board, the staff, the staff, did I mention the staff, and the young people are just amazing. Their commitment is fabulous, and for those reasons, I share this with you. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about why it's so important to be here this morning for the 211 Award. 211 Academy Award is really the most talked about event in town. It's the opportunity to celebrate all the great work of the nonprofits. We have Maline here with Memorial Health Care System. They are the red carpet sponsor right behind us. So with their support, this is really what this event is all about. Awesome. And is there anything you guys are looking forward to for the upcoming year with 211? Well, we're looking to strengthen partnerships and continue to forge ahead with the actions of 211 helping the community, absolutely. Okay, so the finalists for the nonprofit organization of the year are Slim. What? No, 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 I want a drum roll now. All right, okay. Broward Regional Health Planning Council. 
feeding South Florida and kids in distress. All right, keep that drum roll going. And the winner is feeding South Florida. Well, thank you all very much to 11 Broward, the judges, who were obviously drinking when they made the selection. <laughs> Broward Regional Health Plan Council and Kids in Distress. Um, it's been it's uh, humbling to be in your in the same uh, category as you guys. Um, throw in a puppy and a kitten, and it would have been impossible for us. So thank you guys. Uh, this really goes out to to our staff at Table 53 that helps us move. 40 million pounds of food to 325 different nonprofit partner organizations in Palm Beach, Broward, Miami, Dade, and Monroe. Without them, we couldn't do what we do, and we're here to serve you guys. So thank you again for all this. Tell us a little bit about how 211 and your organization work together. Well, our organization, our mission is to pr provide education to children and adults to prevent child sexual abuse, bullying, and internet dangers. So 211 is a great support and a great uh, resource for us to send people to when they are in need. Lifetime is sometimes a figurative term and sometimes it's a tragically predefined term that, that we use for someone who left the planet a little bit too early, which is the case of one of our nominees tonight. So I'm proud to present the OK Generator's Lifetime Achievement Award. The nominees are Nancy Alexander, Animal Rights Foundation of Florida. <laughs> Dee Campbell, Insight for the Blind. And Melissa Aiello, Junior Achievement of South Florida. And the winner is Melissa Aiello. I'm Dennis Aiello, Melissa Aiello's husband. Against advice from her family and everyone who knew her, against marrying me, she ignored that, and thank God. Um, incredible woman. It's a, been a great 34-year run. She would be humbled to tears up here tonight to receive this. Um, that was one of her hallmarks. She just put her head down and uh, did what had to be done. So. Thank you all so very much. Uh, this means uh, a great deal to me. Thank you. How did your company come to partner up with 211? It, was, it all started with just a site tour of their facility and just actually hearing them in action with uh, what 211 actually does for the community. Uh, and then uh, we, we expanded that into going to uh, the community reach out programs uh, that they do for the seniors in the, in the area. And it's just an awesome organization that we're proud to be a part of. On behalf of Publix, I'm honored to present the Publix Community Choice Award. The winner of the Publix Community Choice Award is the organization that receives the highest number of votes from the community. This award is a natural fit for Publix. For over 80 years, we've been committed to giving back to the communities we serve, and it is our customers and associates whom we thank for allowing us to do so. I can think of no better way to honor that commitment than to stand with the entire community to recognize a nonprofit making a significant impact here in South Florida. And the winner is. Parkland Buddies Sports. I just want to thank all those people that voted for Parkland Buddy Sports. For those of you who don't know what our organization does, is we take neurotypical kids and we pair them up with kids with special needs and we provide recreational opportunities. We're located in Parkland, but we expand into Palm Beach County, Dade County, as well as Broward. So I also want to thank all those other organizations that were out there competing 
I know we were very competitive. I saw some other organizations looking to get votes. I thank you. I also want to thank Publix and 211 for this great opportunity. Thank you. Devine and I were extremely honored to do this and be a part of such a great experience. So many amazing organizations. And of course, they all need financial contributions, but you can give back. You can volunteer your time. You can support the cause and help spread the awareness for all these great organizations. And now you'll be escorted to the after party. Come join us. The party's continued. Thank you to all of the incredible organizations that came out this morning. It's for all of your hard work all year that brings South Florida to its full potential. For Ion South Florida, I'm Jessica Kuzovitsky.